Right, I'm at Halford Glen. This is the green. I'm going to be going uphill in a minute. Um, yeah, I'm going to be going uphill in a minute. Just thought I'd do an introductory video. Um, it's the 11th of August 2017. It's like one of a window of a nice day today. It's supposed to be changing the rest, rest of the time. But um, I've parked Alberta over here. This is a green where we used to all meet. This is like a meeting place when we were school children with the school. We'd all come here and um, Alberta's parked right over in the corner over there. Yeah, yeah she's right over there, Alberta. I'm making my way up a track. I've just met another lady who's a camper and a walker. She's got a little Jack Russell, a little young one. Yeah, I'm a bit behind because I started late and then there was a traffic jam from Bridgewater where they're doing all sorts of bypasses and things. Um, yeah, we came here with my dad. Uh, Margaret and me and Jude, we came here when we were small children and um, I've got some old black and white photos of that time. So this has always been a special place, um, Holford, for us. I'm taking my time today. I think it's going to be hot. I've put long trousers on, just try and help prevent any bites and stuff. Um, And I've got a feeling this first part of the walk is going to be very hilly. Normally I go, I've not, I've come down this way but not gone up it. Normally I go along up the glen there, up the coombe. And I um, get up on the top from there, which is like a steady climb. And you are protected from the heat. But today, because I'm en route... I don't know if I'll get there, mind. But I've got like a mission to get to West Bagra. It's quite a hike. I don't know if I'll do it or not. Um, there was something else, but I'm walking on my own because I've got... I've had quite a lot of breathlessness this last couple of days. And um, the bag is always very heavy. I've got a huge bottle of water And it's got to last me, this one bottle. It's quite a big bottle though. But it's very, very heavy. I've made sure I've hydrated well. Before the walk. But I prefer to walk alone because I get so breathless. I've just got to remember where that one went. She's taking her time. She's got a little dog. Right. She would have come along there just where the camper vans are. If you follow that path there, that'll take you straight back to Alberta. And uh, I think she was going to go down there. I don't know where that goes. But I'm not going that way. I'm going up. Right, so this is Sheila. I, I might not be doing that much video and I've got to try and keep the camera for uh, when I get to West Bagra if I get there. Um, I don't know if I'll get there or not. Anyway, uh, we'll see what happens. I said it, I've got a heavy bag and it's all uphill literally the first part of this is just up, up, up for probably an hour or more here's her nap cottage here on the 
side of the hill, look. Once I've started climbing up, my breathing will probably improve. Once I start getting up, it's just clearing the lungs at the start of the walk, really. Getting all the stale air out. I mean, they're burning. My lungs are burning at the moment. If you don't suffer with breathing problems, you won't find this bit difficult at all. But if you do, then you'll appreciate what I'm experiencing. But this doesn't stop me going out. To so stop is the worst thing you can do for your lungs to stop because um, they would just fill up with muck. You have to get the rib cage moving. Now even from here on this little stony path and I zoom in over there through the trees you can see Hinkley Point that and the Mendips where I walk so often Thank you, point that. This is a nice little walk. It's a gentle breeze. I've given a bit of distance between me and the other lady, but I don't know if she turned off back there. Because <clears throat> I can't climb up a hill and talk on a consistent basis. I, I have stops and I'll be turning the camera off and all sorts, you know. <sighs> But like I say, my rucksack is so heavy with water. <sighs> I can see all the honey, the hives that the little cottage has got darted around here. Quite a few hives. You can buy honey from that cottage. So we're going above um, Hodder's Coombe and um, the little lady I met had all her gear on and she said she was about 76 and she had all her stuff on of double layers didn't show any skin whatsoever she probably knows about the text and um, I haven't c covered everything up I must admit because I just get too hot I haven't brought an umbrella or any waterproofs today either because I'm relying on the weatherman big time I've got spare clothes in the van that I can change into if for some reason I have to turn back because I get soaked just in case but this is it's evened off a bit here this is a pleasant little bit I did feel envious when I saw the lady with her little dog her Jack Russell wasn't that old I wouldn't have thought maybe two or three so friendly I'm not ready for a, a little jack yet. Um, I really, I'm not really, because I go off doing other things. So I don't know if I ever will get one or not. I can't remember if I will. Once I've stopped exploring, I can't imagine me doing that either. Some people take their dogs everywhere, but if you're going in the church, what are you going to do with your dog when you're away? Do you know what I mean? What you can do with it? You can't take it in a cathedral. So... I'm out all the time as well at the moment. I like to get out every other day. Right, so I'm just really just getting us started on the walk for the first one. Like I said, I've only ever walked down this way, although I've probably done it in the past as a child. I probably have. But we're slowly going up. What's happening is um, there's a valley down there, and I've been along that valley, by the way. I can't remember all the names, unfortunately. I've got a map in my bag, but I can't be bothered to worry about any of that. And uh, that's the only reason I'd probably get a better phone would be for GPS reasons. 
map reasons. But at the moment, I'm, that'll be my next toy, I think. It's probably on the cards for the future. <sighs> yeah, so there's a nice valley down there, which I've been along. That is pleasant as well. That's a very pleasant walk along there. The walk, she's doing quite a big walk. She says it'd take her about four hours. Well, mine, I might be longer because I want to come back through Holford Coombe this evening. Um, I'm not coming back down here. I'm going back down through the Coombe with the view of hoping to see some um, deer. Right, over and out for a minute, everyone.